This video guide will give you instructions to get rid of the Chump adware from your Google Chrome browser. Chump is a rogue browser extension endorsed as a tool to customize keyboard shortcuts for easy access to favorite websites. However, it is classified as adware due to running intrusive advertisement campaigns. Furthermore, Chump spies on users' browsing activity. Uh, due to the questionable methods used to distribute adware-type products, they are also correctly categorized as potentially unwanted applications. The adware enables the placement of third-party graphical content on any visited website and on different interfaces. The displayed ads can be surveys, pop-ups, coupons, banners, and so on. These advertisements promote various sale-based, untrustworthy, deceptive, compromised, and even malicious websites. Furthermore, some intrusive ads can infiltrate software into these systems stealthily when they are clicked on. That's why we strongly advise that you get rid of this chump adware as soon as possible. So how to get rid of the adware from your Google Chrome? Go to the menu, click on More Tools, choose Extensions. You'll be in this uh, special area, so you'll find chump extension. You may deactivate and then remove the extension completely. Of course, if you see any other suspicious extensions, get rid of them too. Now, to make sure that your Mac is free of any other threats, consider scanning it with Combo Cleaner. You may go to the page combocleaner.com, download the software, then install the application and start examining your system with this tool to make sure there are no any other adware or malware traces remaining on your Mac computer. So, start Combo Scan to begin the research of your Mac. So this is the end of scanning by Combo Cleaner Antivirus. Uh, in my case it was uh, in the premium mode, but you'll see a um, pretty similar picture uh, with the trial mode of Combo Cleaner. Um, the program gives you the report about threats found. Uh, you may go to the antivirus section, click on review results. So, as you can clearly see, this is the list of all threads that were found during the scanning. How to get rid of these threads manually? Of course, you can see the location of specific thread. Plus, you may click on this icon that says Show in Finder. So, this will show you the location of the thread in Finder. You may right-click on it and move it to the trash. You may do the same thing with all other threads and uh, get rid of these threads manually. Or, of course, you may consider upgrading to the premium version of the program to remove these threads automatically.